In 1981, Edmary Mpaji and his cousin brother were arrested and charged for murder of one George William Wandiaka. The following year, Mpaji was convicted and sentenced to death by hanging for the murder. From 83, I was on death row. And uh, about five times people were executed. And I was waiting just to, uh, I was waiting just to be hanged. I can't tell by words <laughs> the way I felt. I felt on that day, but it was terrible. Mpaji is lucky to have escaped the hangman's noose after 18 years on death row. The man Paji was guilty of having murdered was discovered still alive and healthy. Even then, his release from prison was not immediate because most of the judges involved in his case had passed on. The prerogative of Masa went to, to, to inquire about my case. Then they found that I was innocently condemned. But the problem was all judges had died. Nobody would inquire to that what happened. Because the, the hearing judge, the late content had died. And in appeal, Musoke and Rubogo had died. Because the Antony General by then he told me that your, your father refused to give us money. You are going to be sentenced to death. And remember, in Obote too, there was a lot of corruption. Anybody could do what he wants. Even these days, some people are in prison when they are innocent. On July 12th, the year 2000, Mpaji was finally pardoned by the president. Today is an exponent against execution and says the death penalty is neither a deterrent nor is it a suitable punishment. People gave evidence against me and even they swear in the court using the Bible and the Koran. But it was, it was false. Would you have heard about me today? if I was executed, and some are innocent because of corruption, poor invest investigation, grudges as, as such in the area. Prisons authorities agree with Mpaji's outlook on death penalties. So when you execute somebody, you cannot achieve the reform part of it because you have already executed him. And two, we also believe that two wrongs don't make a right. Much as it was wrong for one, to have murdered a person, it is also equally wrong for us to say that we go ahead and execute that person. There are currently 461 people on death row in Uganda. The last executions were in April 1999 when 28 people were hanged. In February 2009, President Museveni pardoned two death row inmates, among whom was former Bote Minister Chris Rakasisi. Because that we tend to stay with these people for a very long time, and at times you end up developing a very, very close relationship. It's like you have adopted a child and then you turn around to, to execute that child. The Foundation for Human Rights Initiative says Uganda has made major strides on the issue of the death penalty, where sentences of over 150 people on death row were reduced to life sentence after a Supreme Court ruling, seen as a major step towards abolition. The Supreme Court ruling in Susan Chigula versus the Attorney General was a major achievement in the sense that now we have a definite legal position that you cannot impose mandatory death sentences. And secondly, if a person is not, uh, if a person is sentenced to death and within three years that person has not been executed, the sentence automatically is deemed to have been commuted to life imprisonment. Many human rights defenders believe there are alternatives to death penalty. We need these people we, we have condemned. We need them on board to come and sensitize the masses in the society, in the community, that no, I've changed. I used to commit crimes, but I'm now a new person. I have a new look. So we advocate for a general understanding of the root, prob of the root cause of the problem, address the problem, but at the same time, impose a punishment that is effective. There could be a, a revision on the interpretation of life sentence in Uganda, which is currently 20 years and with a remission entitlement. We think if the lawmakers could adjust and say, when they say you are, you are imprisoned for life, you serve your life in prison until you die, but they don't kill you. However, the death penalty is still a sensitive issue in Uganda and is still on the statute books, yet no executions have been made for over a decade now. Our members of parliament, they are always silent about that matter. 
I don't want to comment about what the judges, but even the judges to have reached the level of saying this is a constitutional matter, I think the judges could have still pronounced themselves and would be at a different stage. In the last decade, more than 30 countries have abolished the death penalty in law or practice. The 2010 report by Amnesty International on the death sentences and execution highlights that the last 10 years have registered important progress across all regions. However, 58 countries worldwide, including Uganda, still retain the death penalty for ordinary crimes. Michael Baleke, NTV in Luzirapa Prison.